We now return to Malcolm XXY. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Yeah! Plymouth Rock gave us both sets of genitals. Yeah! What? Oh, my God, he did it. Oh, no, I've been out all morning with lots of witnesses, and now this. Chris, help! For God's sake, what now? So I was out on my walk with Jane, Allie P, and Allie R. Both got disastrous haircuts yesterday. Obviously, that stays in this room. And I just came in and found Chi-Chi like this. Stewie, do you know what day it is? It's the next Wednesday. I believe you're aware of my Wednesday schedule? First period independent study. Oh, so you are. And do you remember what I like to do during first period independent study? Sleep. Sleep. Oh, you're a quick study. Chris, your alarm is going off. I know. He never got invited to dinner with Jake Gyllenhaal or his sleepy-eyed sister, which is probably for the best. She looks like she chews with her mouth open. But Muddy did get his guitar lessons from the devil. Sign here, and you'll be the greatest guitar player who ever lived. All it'll cost you is your soul. Okay, you got yourself a deal. And just so you know, with this purchase of a soul, I will also give a soul to a child in need. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. It's no additional cost to you. Mm-hmm. It's just my way of giving back, out of my end. Seems like it's probably baked into the price. Hey, do you think homeless people ever have sex with each other? Probably, but I don't want to think about it. I know for a fact they do. I spend most of my day breaking up in-progress homeless sex. I bet it stink. Oh, it stink, all right. So, we talking group stuff or just one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, anything goes. Whatever you can fit under a tarp. There's a major hot spot behind the dumpster at the Cheesecake Factory. Hey, what's up with the menus at the Cheesecake Factory? Why do they gotta be so big? Yeah, and why does their menu have ads? I go there for dinner, not to shop for appliances. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right, you guys, podcast time. We got the equipment and the perfect business plan. Give our show away for free and tell no one how to find it. Ready? Hey there, the net. Welcome to the first episode of Thanks for the Clamories. I'm here with Glenn Quagmire. Hi. Cleveland Brown. And... Hello. And Joe Swanson. Yelza. All right, Quagmire, what do you got for us? Let's make a clamory. Okay, this is yes or no. Y you ready, Peter? Yes or no? French toast. Yes. French fries. Yes. French kissing. I, I don't know. These questions are weird. Don't hear those crickets no more. I'm not gonna make it. You hang in there, you hear me? Listen to me. I want you to take care of my kids. I will. And I want you to be there whenever there's a bad joke. Let them know. Let them know. Gee, I hope I didn't scare the cows. I don't want to put them in a bad mood. <laughs> Coming up, quintuplets born at Quahog General. What? That's, oh, that's supposed to be burn? Oh. Coming up, quintuplets burn at Quahog General. Hey, honey, get in here. Check this out. The way he's sitting, it looks like the dog's watching the news. You like watching the news, you dumb dog. Well, I'm off to do what former Navy SEALs do. Sell lawnmowers. Wow, he really has no idea. Hey, want to take a shower with me? Sure. Man, this is a pretty sweet gig. Like being a member of Daft Punk. Look at this old Casio keyboard from the 1980s that I have found. Watch what happens when I push this demo button. Hello, Daft Punk. Great song. Here's a Grammy. Oh, ho! you know, it's funny. Until you spoke, I did not know we were French. I want to get back on the motorcycle. <sighs> I told you, it's out of gas. Why is it the time machine working? I don't know, Mort. I hate it here. I hate this whole goddamn place. It's all a bunch of shit. 
It's all a bunch of goddamn shit. Okay, take it easy, ma'am. No, fuck you, Stewie. I'm a Jew in Nazi-occupied Europe. Fuck you! Fuck the both of you! I didn't say anything. Oh, thanks, Brian. This is a bunch of shit! Okay, you know what, Mort? Shut up! All right, just shut the fuck up! I don't give a shit about you! You know, we can just leave you here! Yeah, right, just leave me here, that's great! We're in occupied Europe, and if you haven't noticed, I'm Jewish! Oh, I noticed. Helen Keller would notice. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat my ass, Brian! Don't you mean your ass neck? Shut up! That's a real thing! Welcome once again to Thanks for the Clamories. Okay, common question that everybody thinks about. How many fourth graders do you think you could take at once? What? I mean, obviously, if you had to fight against a million fourth graders, you'd lose. So, like, what's, what's the real number? Like, what's the legitimate number of fourth graders that you could successfully take on? Let's say 100. That sounds reasonable. Oh, no way. 100 and you're dead. Why are we fighting them? Because they're idiots. Did they say something about my mother? What? Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll say yes. Oh, then a baker's dozen. What kind of weapons? Only what's available in the schoolyard. You could really mess up some kids with a chain from a swing. Just da 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 I tell you what I'd do? I'd back into a bathroom stall and just start kicking. Dead, 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 keep coming, dead. Give them a narrow entry point, make them come in single file. Dead, dead. Anyway, I, I guess I'm trying to say 800 fourth graders. I have milked all the goats. Peter, all those goats are males. Well, the buckets are full and the goats are happy. I just hope word doesn't get around. I like good times. We now return to Captain America, Civil Union. All right, Captain America, we have to get ready for the big fight with the other heroes. Who do we have on our side? Well, Hawkeye, we've got you, Scarlet Witch, the Falcon, and, of course, Randy. Who's Randy? You know Randy, lives in my guest house. We've been friends since college. He's my pal. He's the guy I went to Paris with. You are such a coward. Randy! <sighs> when I think back of all the food we've wasted in this house. Here, Tom Selleck. Come on, down the hatch. Come on, you... Hey, hey, hey! None for you, Higgins! Trying to steal Tom Selleck's food. No! No! You've had yours. Peter, there you are. I've been calling you all night. Where the hell have you been? No time to explain. This Emmy thing goes deep. The same people win year after year after year. It's like there's some kind of secret society that takes all the awards and is keeping us from getting one. Yeah, I know. They're all here to see you. Hello, Peter. <gasps> the Michelin Man? You're part of this? No. I'm two-time Emmy winner Alec Baldwin. Peter, stop snooping around the Emmys. Yeah, butt out. It's none of your business. Well, why not, Julie Bowen? Huge fan, by the way. Just huge. What are you hiding? What's the big secret reason Family Guy can't win an Emmy? All right, we'll tell you. Your show sucks. Peter, I'm famous writer Aaron Sorkin. Walk and talk with me. You wouldn't know my work because I don't write for Jugs magazine. Let me explain writing to you. You can't take a scene from Ferris Bueller, cross out the name Ferris, and replace it with Peter. And the racial stuff on your show is just embarrassing. You have people of color voiced by white actors. No. Yes. Hell, I'm Shonda Rhimes, and I'm being voiced by a white actor. And worst of all, you take this big pile of garbage and you tie it all up by having everyone sit around saying, at least everything's back to normal, as if something happened. When nothing happened, it was a complete waste of everyone's time. Well, I'm glad all this Emmy nonsense